Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to optimize INP interaction to next paint. So it's a important part of Core Web Vitals, and as we know, Google's ranking factor. It's a Google's ranking factor, and uh, it's going to replace FID uh, from 12th of March. So we need to cover it now before uh, Google launch uh, their changes. So let's get started. Uh, you can open your web page, and uh, here is INP in PSI report, page speed inside report, and it's failing. So I will explain you how you can check where is the problem exactly and how you can optimize it. So suppose this is a website. I want to check. You can open it in Chrome browser and do open the tab tool by using F12. And then click on performance and then select your device so I'm uh, taking mobile first and then run this and when you run this you can you know scroll it little bit and click somewhere suppose I click here and then stop it so here you can see the interaction time taken by this click and uh, this is the long task these are the long task and if you will go down here you you can see it in a main thread so this is the JS so if you find these kind of long task where red is there I mean more than 50 ms it it is considered a long task so there are so many long tasks this is also a long task so this JS has many long tasks we have to optimize it so how we can optimize it so suppose you have a function in, in what people do all the tasks all the functions they put in a single function so that's why it takes time so we have to separate them or we have to break every task by using you can use await yield function or you can use set timeout there are so many functions so many methods you can use so few are here so you can use these uh, methods and uh, improve your INP I mean break your long task let's get back to the point so basically INP is uh, you know all related to long task suppose if I click here uh, if I click here somewhere here so it might take 200 ms 400 ms or more because the click have to wait for 400 ms so that's why we need to uh, break these tasks so more than 200 ms second tasks you must optimize because more than 200 ms it's a INP uh, failure condition so it's failing because it's a more than 200 ms so first on priority you have to optimize those long tasks which has uh, more than 200 uh, ms long tasks right so one more thing you can check in uh, in your PSI report you can click on TBT and here you can see the long task so it will also provide you some data but I will say that rely on this data this is the main data real user data so you can optimize you can run again and again and check every element suppose you can click on menu let me uh, one more time uh, I can explain it so now uh, click here it's not responding click again now it's responding and stop it so on first click it's not responded maybe some task is going on so here there is no task so it's took only 35 ms so that's the only thing uh, we need to check if there is any long task we need to optimize it more than 200 ms is very uh, poor condition so here you can use uh, 4x slowdown and fast 3g because uh, you know every user don't have uh, good internet so I will suggest that 
always use this so anyway uh, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and part second of this video i'm going to share soon thank you so much